In this video, we're going to be talking about the Vortex Studio Player. The player is the application that we can use to deploy the content that's been created using Vortex Studio. That can be run on another PC or on a multi-screen simulator system. To run the Vortex Studio Player, what we're going to be doing here is double-clicking on the Vortex Studio icon off the desktop. And that's going to launch a number of windows here on screen. You'll see here that we have a main window, which is where the actual simulation is going to be seen. We also have other dialogues that have been open. The main dialog here is the one that's called Vortex Studio Player Console. This is where we will be able to select the content that should be executed inside of the player. Now you can see here that the browser section is currently empty. This is what happens the very first time that you run Vortex Studio Player. What we can do though is go in and add the samples from Vortex. So I can select the Add Samples button and then go and browse to the location of my samples. Then I can select the folder and it's going to list off all of the different samples that I could go and display. I'm just going to select them all here and click OK and now I'll see that they're all being listed here on screen. The scene that I'm going to be loading here as a first example is going to be the, the vortex forklift scene. And so I'm going to double click or I could have used the load button to ask that the player load that content. Now it's going to take a few seconds for this to come in on screen and I'm going to see that now it's fully loaded and then I can go in and I can go run the scene. Now as you can see when we run the scene is going to start being executed and we also have a role that got activated to which a camera was associated that just became the active camera within the player window. And now we're in the operator seat and if I was to go and use my controller I'd be able here to move forward and turn and really be able to operate this vehicle inside of the live environment. Now you'll notice that I no longer have all of the structure of the editor when I'm running inside of the player. As mentioned before, this is a dedicated application to be able to run our content. Another difference between the editor and the player is that when you're running in the player, the physics of Vortex, the dynamics, are actually running in a separate task from the visuals. So that actually gives you better performance compared to the editor where everything is running together. And so the, the dynamics are first going to be executed followed by a rendering of the graphics.